dirty, rotten buggers. Harsh words. Some scrooges. Uh, yeah, you know, Grinches. For the people who stole Chris Becker's Christmas decorations. Well, we woke up in the morning and uh, we're getting ready to leave the house, go do some shopping, and notice that there were a few things missing in the front yard. And we're not talking about just a strand or two of lights. So this is where the train was? Yeah, this is where the blow-up train was set up. Imagine on this now barren grass, a giant, glowing, inflatable Christmas train. Uh, they just cut the straps off and yanked her out of the ground and away they went. There's no train here anymore? No, just green grass. <laughs> and the Christmas crooks didn't stop there. And then we had another setup of the, uh, like these little Frosties that were uh, Santa Clauses out front here. But they're gone. And some candy canes that were over there in the front. Also mostly gone. In their rush to get out of here, they left the top part of one. So that is evidence. <laughs> and all about 200 bucks worth of Christmas cheer missing. Now it's obvious to the Beckers this was a planned holiday heist, a premeditated Christmas caper. The problem, the only witnesses aren't talking. Instead, the two Santas and snowmen that remain stand as sad, silent reminders of Christmas decorations gone AWOL. If they need it that bad, then just go ahead and keep them and, and enjoy them. <laughs> And Chris Becker has two messages for the people who stole his decorations. The first is on this sign. The sign wasn't over, I'm mad. The, the sign was just over, here's my take on it. And the second is something we could all learn from. For everybody to have a Merry Christmas and enjoy, and even something like this that happens to you, don't let it set you back. McKay Allen, KXOY4HD News.